you know, this is the language which uh, can beautifully express um, thoughts and uh, um, worries, uh, all the emotions, yes, and uh, um, I now, uh, except for acting work and voiceovers and dubbing that I do, um, I also translate for the Zwischen magazine, it's published by the uh, Fundacja Shalom, the Shalom Foundation, and uh, I think the girls are doing a wonderful job there because they uh, they show that uh, Jewish that Yiddish is still alive, and they show it in a new dimension. I think uh, I discovered thanks to it. I discovered quite a few uh, Yiddish poetesses that express themselves in this language, because for many years it was a language where women expressed themselves more than men um, so it has a special feminist feminine touch in it yes feminist too maybe um, but um, it sounds beautiful and it's it's a it's a shelter of um, uh, where in which i would like to hide you know <laughs> i feel i feel safe listening to it and i um, i feel very moved when i uh, when i listen to uh, to Yiddish. Sometimes I have a chance to listen to people who speak Yiddish like, you know, like native, I mean, some of them are native speakers because I, I've met some people who actually learned Yiddish from their parents, you know, but it's, it's rather ra rare. Most of the people uh, who speak Yiddish learned it um, uh, through, the, through courses or studies, but um, I love listening to it and uh, I don't know, it's just important uh, spiritually, it's very enriching to me.